Good morning. May the Lord continue to bless and keep you and help you throughout this week. Yesterday we started a topic, Pride Aside, and we're talking about putting pride aside and allowing ourselves to do the things that God calls us to do. And we recognize that pride is masked in a way that we don't even know when we're operating in pride. But it is at any point where we are exalting ourselves above another person or even God himself where we are demonstrating characteristics of being self-dependent, not wanting to take help from anyone else, not even God, because God sends help through people. And also, ultimately, when our motive is so as to receive glory, so as to be seen by others, fame and pomp and all of that. In Proverbs 16, verse 18, it warns us, Pride, Pride. goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. And that pride and a haughtiness, it speaks to arrogance. It speaks to uh, being lofty, being high and mighty, exalting yourself above others. It speaks to self-dependency. And it is in our action, in our thoughts first, our words and our actions. Now, the interesting thing here, pride and haughtiness mean pretty much the same thing. But the last part of this said, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Now we may start to exhibit pride in areas of our life, but as we keep practicing it, we develop a haughty spirit. A spirit that now governs our lives in every way to live pridefully. Okay, where you keep practicing it over and over and over again, and then you become prideful. Have you ever met someone you say, oh, he's so arrogant or she's so arrogant? Sometimes they don't even see themselves at all because pride has a way of masking itself and it may be clothed in excellent or I am independent or I am a go-getter or something like that. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being excellent or being ambitious. There's nothing wrong with that. But we have to be careful and examine our lives and make sure that it's not governed by pride. God bless you. We will continue tomorrow with a really good example from the Bible.